I've got the battery enclosure box tilted forward onto its face so I can show you my work here with this pass-through blower fan from air from the inside and I'll just let you hear it. It's a 12 volt brushless fan 120 millimeter and it's switched and voltage adjusted through that step down buck converter right up there. I just take the little tweaker and adjust the potentiometer. Right now I have it set for 6 volts. When I had it up to about 7.5, it was just pulling so much air out of the house. And God forbid you run it at 12 volts, what it's rated for, and it just crazy amounts of air. So I went a little bit too aggressive with this fan. Alright, this is the little laundry room that goes out to the garage. On the other side of this wall right here is the battery bank and box. But let me show you where the air inlet is. Right down there, you see it? It's a little bit on the loud side, but not horribly bad. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. You can turn it off right here. And turn it on. It's relatively it's not too uh, not too noisy at six volts, but as soon as you get up into seven and a half or higher volts, the damn thing just screams. All right, let me show you a couple of things on this box. And everybody was talking about, oh, you need to put uh, vent holes and all that. You really don't need it because underneath, look, look at that air gap underneath there. That's cold air coming out of there, <laughs> all the way around. I'll be using a lot of that window treatment foam, you know, like the 3M sticky side end with foam on the other side, kind of like what you use for speaker gaskets along the back here and along the lip there that this thing sets on right back here. I also need to do some sanding. And let me show you one really cool thing I'm going to do. I saved these with the new air conditioner. These are corner protectors that came with the air conditioner. And I said, well, I'm going to use these for something, and guess what? Check this out. On this corner right here, put them on all four corners, and just kind of screw them in. It's perfect. It's absolutely freaking perfect. Oh, what else on here? So you got a two-piece front shroud here. And I would love to do plexiglass on here, but man, it is expensive and it, I have to get it custom made. But the good thing is if I get it custom made, all I have to do is just take these two panels off, take them to the glass maker or however it's done, and say just match them up. You know, drill the holes in the plexiglass right where those screw holes are and be done. Or another option is kind of similar to save money on the plastic glass just make like a little window rectangular window with screw holes on the edge there and just have like a little peek through type deal that may, might be kind of cool too uh, and then put some LED groovy color changing lights in there or something in there that might be something considered now right here let me pull this up right here and I'll show you it's got a towel in here for now. And this is actually going to be a relatively easy fix because there's so much air coming out of here. And I cut this a little aggressively, a little bit too big. But all I have to do is make a, a plate for the top here. And then just use my saw and just cut little eyelets through there. So you'll have like... Um, this will do the same thing, but it will have like a, I don't know, better protection than I can use foam, uh, some of that air conditioner window foam in here and be good to go. There's, there's still lots to do here, a lot of filling, painting, all that stuff. Right down here, I kind of screwed up this corner right here, sawing this thing through here, but this is actually okay. Uh, I can just take the belt sander and shoo, clean that up and maybe put some patch in here. 
that's really my own really screw up is right there and it's really not that bad of a screw up because this thing turned out beautifully. And the way you get to it, I'm going to put some handles on the front too, because you tilt it forward and lay it, lay it on its front side to get to it. But it is, whew, I'll get the temperature sensor in tomorrow, right up there. But it's doing this job. See what shops, what, 79 in that box right there? But what, 86 out here in the garage? But you can feel the cold air coming out the bottom with that air gap all the way around there. So it's kind of working very, very well. Keep it sealed. But I think I'm going to change out the fan already. Um, I went a little bit too aggressive with a really, really strong fan made to blow a lot of air. And what I need is a quieter fan and run it at 12 volts and it'll be quiet. So there you have it.